1954 was a year of many firsts. The economy was continuing to grow with consumer goods leading the way, and televisions were a very popular purchase this year. The price of a movie ticket would cost you around 70 cents, while that tank of gas you just filled up would set you back about 21 cents per gallon. On January 14th, Marilyn Monroe married Joe DiMaggio at San Francisco City Hall. Though the marriage would only last nine months, their short-lived union and lengthier relationship captured the hearts and attention of a nation. On February 2nd, George Balanchine's The Nutcracker premiered in New York City. The popularity of the ballet is immense and it provided an unforgettable spark to everyone's holiday season and has been an annual holiday tradition ever since. Also in February, Mercedes first introduced the 300 SL Coupe with its gullwing doors at the New York Motor Show. It is one of the world's most recognized sports cars, and at the time, it was one of the fastest cars on the market. On March 22nd, the first mall opened in the United States. The Northland Center Mall opened in Southfield, Michigan, a Detroit suburb. The mall featured a range of shops, with the most notable being a four-story Hudson department store, which was second in popularity only to Macy's at the time. In addition to its commercial stores, the mall contained a post office and a bank. The wide walkways and water features offered an enjoyable paradise for shoppers. Bill Haley and the Comets recorded Rock Around the Clock on April 12th. This was the first rock song to top the charts and is generally considered the beginning of the rock era. On May 17th, the Supreme Court ruled unanimously that racial segregation of children in public schools was unconstitutional, allowing for the desegregation of public schools. Brown v. Board of Education was a landmark case and was one of the cornerstones of the Civil Rights Movement. It helped to establish the precedent that separate but equal education was not, in fact, equal at all. The words under God were added to the United States Pledge of Allegiance and signed into law on June 14th. On July 19th, Elvis Presley's first single, That's All Right, was released by Sun Records. On July 29th, The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring was published. This was the first volume out of the trilogy and became immensely popular in America. The story had an amazingly well-established fantasy world that helped it to become one of the best-selling books of all time. August 16th brought us the first issue of Sports Illustrated. The cover photo features future Hall of Fame third baseman Eddie Matthews at the plate for the Braves at Milwaukee's County Stadium. The issue sold for just 25 cents. The Miss America pageant was first broadcast on television on September 11th, with Leanne Merriweather, who was Miss California, winning the crown in front of a television audience. The Tonight Show premiered on NBC on September 27th with Steve Allen as its host. Over the course of more than 60 years, The Tonight Show has undergone only minor title changes. It aired under the name Tonight for several of its early years. On October 14th, White Christmas premiered. It is considered one of the most beloved Christmas movies of all time. This musical film centers around a group of entertainers 
during World War II, keen on spreading the holiday spirit to save a failing Vermont inn. For 165 years, the United States Senate had been using the same ivory gavel. That is until November 17th, when Richard Nixon cracked it when calling the room to order during a debate on nuclear power. December 4th, the very first Burger King restaurant opened in Miami, Florida. The fast food franchise would go on to introduce the world to the Whopper and compete with McDonald's for top burger chains. 